Hey everybody, it's me, Pinklock, and I am going to begin another Let's Play. In the year of 2000X, this year, a super robot named Mega Man was created. Dr. Light created Mega Man to stop the evil desires of Dr. Wily. However, after his defeat, Dr. Wily created eight of his own robots to counter Mega Man. Generic building ascent, go! And by the way, for anyone who's cared to get past the Yellow Devil and actually beat Mega Man 1, this song plays as the, its ending. So, on top of our building is Mega Man! Hey everybody, it's me, Pink Lock, and welcome to my Let's Play of Mega Man 2! Also known as Rockman 2 if you're Japanese or a weeaboo. Mega Man is standing on top of a building as he waits for us to choose one of two options. We have Normal, which is our American Ball version, w after calling a Wambulance, and Difficult, which is the Japanese Man version. And I may not be Japanese, but I am a man! Yippee! No point in the screen. So, let me introduce you to our eight bastards we are going to kill. That is Heat Man. He is a Zippo Lighter. That is Bubble Man. That is Air Man. Legends say he cannot be defeated. That is Quick Man. He is quick. Bet you never would have guessed that one. That is Wood Man. He is made of wood and his name can be funny if you imply it in certain ways. That is Crash Man. Certain forms of him are pretty gay. That is Flash Man. He can freeze time like a cheater. And that is Metal Man, the guy with the best weapon we are going to kill first. So let's go and do that now. <laughs> Welcome to the wonderful world of Mega Man 2 and Metal Man. As I ride past these conveyor belts and jump around like an idiot, I will get this E-Tank. They restore all of your health and are just delicious. Now I'm going to try and pull off a wonderful trick. See what I did there? I used my invincibility time to move quicker. Ow, I didn't mean for that one though. Aha! I don't know why you can jump past that one and not any of the others, but who cares? It's awesome. Okay, dodge these drills. Ow. This is more of a dodging course than actually shooting randomly, because that never works. E-Tank, go! Why? Because I'm too lazy to hit the fire button. Shut up. Okay, I got hit on the conveyor belt. Run, Mega Man, run! Mash the jump button! Yay! Okay, small platforming section of conveyor beltliness. Which is actually pretty easy. That life we need item number two, but who cares? Wee, this room is pointless. And here we are, more jumping like idiots with some metal gears in the background. This first guy we're going to ignore completely. The second one we're going to ignore as well since we got hurt by the first one on accident. I don't know why we're saying we when I'm the one playing, but you know what, whatever. Alright. Hello, my fine friend. Are you going to die? Yes, you are. Hello, pipe guy thing. Are you going to hurt me? Yes, you are. Thing number two! Haha! -ha. He missed! Just sick of these pipe things. If I see another one, eat ceiling! Haha! -ha. Kill it! Alright, so, E tank! Glitch exploitation time! Hut! One, two, three, four, five! Haha! -ha. Hut! 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 Jump past those button guys! And now we are going to go into the pointless room. Again. This room is super pointless. There is no meaning to it. Pia! That was pretty high, actually. It's Metal Man! No, he is not a dentist. So what we are going to do is we are going to shoot these Mega Buster pellets at him. Yes, we are fighting a robot with pellets. And a robot is equipped with pellets. But anyways, we're just going to dodge these metal blades because he will always throw them in the same exact pattern provided you stand in that back corner which is conveniently located at the corner in the back but you never would have guessed that one huh so metal man has less health than us now as I'm just jumping and shooting as you can see this fight is very epic very epic indeed both sides are fighting fiercely Mega Man just got hit because I was not paying attention 
One more shot, one more shot. He is dead, I win. So slide to the left as we claim our brilliant, brilliant prize. M, get equipped with Metal Blades. These are basically your Jesus H. Christ of Mega Man 2. What you can do is shoot them in eight directions, fire three at a time, they're super powerful, and you have a shitload of ammo, which means you're never going to run out and you will never need to use the Mega Buster again. Just as proof of it, I'm going to use them throughout all of Bubble Man stage. <laughs> So, what do you do the moment you arrive at Bubble Man stage? You turn on the metal blades and you begin killing things. Like frogs! Robotic frogs! Kiddo kiddo! Err! Damn you Dungaree Geiru's robotic cousin! I've been ambushed by frogs before! So I am prepared! Just ask Amity! I'm referencing my Boyo LP as if people actually watched it! But guess what? No one has! Although more people have than Kirby64. Let's just go and kill things. Haha, -ha, eat that, you hermit thing! Take that, shell thing! Die, thing! And now let's go in the water! What be water? What was the point of that? Die, you things! I have so many metal blades to spare, I don't even care! Oh, I made a rhyme! More glitch, Linus! Err, time barrage glitch, go! Time barrage. I am barraging the time. Barraging the time, just so I can get funny results. Like this! Second of water. Flash! I'm gonna kill you shrimps with my blades in one shot. And I'm going to attack your fish master's weak point for massive damage. Aha! Ow. Explosion! Yay, explosions. They're always good. Let's just keep walking for a little. The point of this part is to jump, not hit the spikes, and avoid those Metroid ripoffs. Like the one I just killed. And that one. Err, die Metroid ripoff. But there's a live stuck in there. That's gay. I want more lives. Curse you, Metroid ripoffs. Fall down the pit. Kill you in one hit. Die, you shrimps. Err, weak point, massive damage, etc, etc, I've used the skag before. The fish thingy explodes. And now I will proceed to more froggies. Err, die robotic frogs. At least you don't have stupid long names. Eh, dongery garu. It sounds like dong. And gay. That's funny. So anyways, we have these small enemy crabs, and what we're going to do is we're going to ignore all but one of them for minor damage. So now let's go in here. This one actually makes sense, as Bubble Man has to live in the water, because he is buoyancy impaired. That ain't the only thing he's impaired in. Oh ho ho ho! Let's just kill him already. I have better things to do. Tougher robots to fry. Etc. Etc. Quit hurting me. Whoopee! Bubble Man has died! That was really no trouble at all and probably took about five seconds. Normal mode is much more pathetic with that one. Yippee! B. Get equipped with... Bubble Lead. Now most people say that Bubble Lead is useless. However, it actually does have some real applications. Like, say, those fire enemies in Quick Man stage, Heat Man himself, and Dr. Wily stage 4 for revealing fake platforms. So, let's just go back to the stage select now. As you can see, we have six more morons to kill, but unfortunately, due to time frames, I cannot kill them now. But I will kill them tomorrow, I promise you that, or at least two more of them. So long for now, and goodbye. Enjoy your New Year's.